You know it's going to be a good day when you're starting your day off in a Toyota Land Cruiser and it's owned by none other than Mr. Jarvis Nuz. And guys, fun fact is, is that today is actually Jarvis's birthday. So everyone spam happy birthday Jarvis in the comment section below. And guys, another question which I get asked a lot is this, that why am I always in the passenger seat? The answer is this, that I didn't get my license yet. <laughs> I've been behind this thing for the past one year, but I'll be getting it pretty soon within the next two months. So let's hope for the best. So as soon as I get my license, I'll get a new car as well. So anyway, right now we are about to go to Sukal Haraj to take a look at some cheap Mustangs, which you guys can buy over here in Dubai. Yes, this is actually a 2014 model Toyota Land Cruiser VXR variant. VXR is basically the top end version. There's EXR, which is the base option. Then we have the GXR, and then comes the VXR variant. The thing is, is that Jao has actually got this for a pretty good deal. He got it for like 30,000 below the market price because the owner had no idea how much this car is actually worth. So that is pretty interesting, to be honest. So anyway, let's go to Candy Cars. I've only seen this in movies. They're actually demolishing a villa right there. That, that was an old villa, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah? Yes. Oh my god. So right now we just came to charge our car market and the first car which actually caught my attention is this Mercedes limousine right here. It's actually a Mercedes E500 2009 model. This is my first time seeing a limousine with such doors on it and it kind of reminds you of a school bus from the interior. Just take a look at this thing. It's actually a nine seater car and it's not bad. They're asking around 45,000 dirhams for this car right here. It's a 2009 model and it comes with a V8 if I'm not mistaken I'll have to check I have no idea because it's my first time seeing this car in person but it's not bad you know what I'm saying let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this car right here I've seen a lot of limousine but it's my first time seeing something like this so anyway the main reason why we came here is to take a look at some American muscle cars which they have over here. All of these cars which you guys see over here are imported from US. By the time they got over here, these cars were crashed, they had water damage, flood damage, like you name it, these cars were like completely gone. What they do is this, that they get these cars, they rebuild it, add some body kit to it, and then they sell it to the public for a slight profit. That's what they do. So the name of the shop is Gandhi Cars. Just take a look at the white body kit which they have done on this Dodge Challenger right here. This, my friends, is a 2016 model Dodge Challenger V8. As you guys can see, it's a US spec car. It has done around 78,000 kilometers, and they are asking about 68,000 dirhams for this car right here. If you guys want, you guys can also pay it in monthly basis for around 1,300 dirhams as well. So basically, if you guys are planning to buy muscle cars for cheap, I feel like this is the best way. The thing is, is that compared to GCC cars, American cars are way cheaper. So that's the best part. Over, over here, we got another door charger. And just take a look at the door challenges and charges which they have in this lineup. They got over 100 cars over here. And I feel like the most expensive car which they have over here is that Rolls Royce Phantom right there. Compared to door chargers and challenges, the cheapest car which they have is a Ford Mustang. Just take a look at the white body kit which they have done on this Dodge Charger right here. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this beast. So if you guys are wondering what the price of this thing is, let me go to the other side. And yes, this is a V6 2019 model. As you guys can see, specs it's a US spec car, so I'm pretty sure the accident was from the. So I'm pretty sure the accident was in the front end. And they are asking about 79,000 dirhams for this car right here. So mo most of these cars are American spec. They got two Rolls Royces over here as well. This is a Rolls Royce Ghost. That my friends is the Rolls Royce Phantom. So the most expensive car which they have over here is that Rolls Royce Phantom right here. And to be honest, my favorite car from this lineup has to be this thing right here. Just take a look at this Dodge Charger which they have over here. But yes, it's a V6 model. It has done around 47,000 km 2020 model and they are asking about 75,000 dirhams for this car right here. Anyway, let's go to everyone's favorite car, Ford Mustang. It's basically like m and they got it in all the colors. So, they got the badges right over here. So, if you guys are wondering what the prices are of these cars. This, my friends, is a 2020 model inline four cylinder. It has done around 84,000 km and they are asking about 82,000 dirhams. It's a four cylinder car and I wouldn't suggest getting this. But instead they got a, uh, I'm not sure if this is a V4. Oh, even this is a four cylinder with a GT500 body kit on it. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this. It's a 2021 model 
and they are asking about 89,000 dirhams for this guy. I have no clue what these quotes mean, so I'll have to check that because. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think these codes are. This is a code QSM. That one is a code O. That one is a code O. And even this is a four cylinder. Imagine if the cars which they have over here are four cylinders. I don't know why. Let me look for some six cylinders or eight cylinders. Because over here in Dubai, we do not have six cylinders. Majority of the six cylinders are imported from US. So that is also there. This is another four cylinder 2020 model. They are asking about 86k. Oh, just take a look at the white body kit. I mean the Shelby GT500 kit on this Ford Mustang right here. Even this is a four cylinder. Oh. Majority of the cars are four cylinder. <laughs> We're able to find a single 5.0. That's a four cylinder. That's a four cylinder. Majority of the cars are four cylinder to be honest. They even got a couple of convertible Mustangs. Even this is a four cylinder. Yeah, I don't think they have any. 5 liter V8 Mustangs. Guys, they got a V6 Mustang 2015 model going for around 58,000 dirhams. I have no clue what these quotes are, so let me know in the comments below what do you guys think these are. Anyway, let's go to other showrooms and take a look at the other cars we say have over here. Even got Chevrolet Camaros over here as well, but to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Chevrolet Camaros just because of the speedometer because the visibility is really bad in this car. It's a V6 model, it's a V6, it's a 2020 model V6, and they are asking about 80,000 dirhams and it has done around 19,800 kilometers they even got a convertible camera over here as well what do you think about american spec cars is it a good idea to buy a car like that i mean in this country no yeah you're yeah. against american cars the best part about american cars compared to gcc cars is, is that american cars have more features compared to gcc the maintenance will be there but it's not bad i mean you can say that, but it's your share at the end of the day. This is a GCC variant, yeah? Yeah, this is a GCC variant. So let me know in the comments below, are you a fan of American cars or GCC cars? Okay, sir, before wrapping up the vlog, just take a look at this beast which I just found. This, my friends, is a Renault Tweezy. To be honest, it's my first time seeing this thing right here. And they're asking about 20,000 dirham. It's a two-seater car. And yes, it's road legal as well, but it's very fragile. I don't think it's very safe to drive this thing right here. It's a two-seater, as I said, but the back seat is not that comfortable, as you guys can see. And... It's pretty basic. I'm pretty sure it's made for European roads since they have narrow roads and stuff like that. But over here in Dubai roads, it's pretty unnecessary. Imagine driving this in 120, man. It's not safe. So, and they're asking about uh, 20,000 dollars for this thing, right? And not only that, they got a lot of other cars as well. Uh, this, my friends, is a Land Cruiser LC300 Twin Turbo VX variant. We have a GLE 450, GLA 200, S400, C200. These are all GCC cars, by the way. They even got the brand new EQS over here as well. So, anyway, guys, on that note, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. So if you guys want more videos like this, then if you guys want more videos like this, then make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and share this video. Till then, it's about us.